Well, I'm on a fax to Mars. And I'm not ready to do the anime version of my videos yet. But I can't let the story go. There's another freak show on the catwalk. Remember last time I uh, showed men being uh, depicted as pigs and dogs by a bunch of wacky uh, radical feminist wackos or whatever. That was in, what was that, in Paris? I think that was in Paris. If I remember right. I could look it up. Anyway, so now we have the uh, designer Gucci and women are walking on the catwalk currently carrying separate heads. You can see the blonde looks just like her uh, head. I, I that that's really freaky. And on Wednesday afternoon during the Lamb Fashion Week, she staged a spectacular yet peculiar fashion show that includes cyborg models, which pun deeper look possess an underlying metaphorical feminist image message. The Gucci show notes creative director Alessandro Michelle referenced a cyborg manifesto written by Donna Haraway in 1984. In it, Haraway uses the concept of cyborg to represent women without constraints of society's traditional gender labels. As one writer notes, Cyborg in Haraway's piece crashes the big oppositions between nature and culture, self and world that runs through much of our thought. What the hell are they talking about? It poses the idea that all of us are not naturally made, or rather we are constructed like a cyborg. If given the right tools, we can be reconstructed. That is to say, women aren't born to be wise, born to work in the house, or naturally submissive and overly emotional pe people. Women can choose to be... Uh, I think they mean whoever they want to be. The day feminism is a sign as advocacy of women's rights on the ground of quality of the sexes, but in Gucci's world, sexes and genders do not exist. So, Michelle raises a bigger question, why let traditional gender constraints put forth by society stop women from moving forward with their goals and dreams? Michelle's vision for Gucci includes models who are genderless, Oh, that's mostly convenient uh, for reproduction. I mean, last time I knew, the only way humanity can reproduce itself is if women bear children. Do you people have any better ideas? How can the human race reproduce if women don't bear children? You want to explain that to me? I'm sorry. It's a fact of life. Men wear women's clothing and vice versa, something that he has done for several seasons now. He toys with the idea that in the future, traditional notions of men and women will no longer exist. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to stop it right there. I've contended for a long time they are trying to turn us into an androgynous race. And people have laughed at me. They're headed towards androgyny. The collection goes further, taking the shape of a genuine cyborg manifesto, DJ Airway, in which the hybrid is metaphorically created as a figure that can overcome the dualism and dichotomy of identity. Cyborg, in fact, is a paradoxical creature keeping together nature and culture, masculine and feminine, normal and alien. Psyche and matter. All right, that's enough. This is just out and out nuts. 
I can't. I can't deal. It's like with that preacher man that mugged the Sunday school teacher. Only this is totally different. But I can't deal with this either. I have no idea. I give up. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but the only way the human race can reproduce itself as if women bear children. There's no other way to do it. You people are mad or you're mad, you're insane. How else is the human race going to reproduce itself? Does anybody out there have an alternate method that works? You want to tell me about this? I'm just being practical. But practical doesn't work with these people. They're not able to think. I can't deal. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll get the uh, animation going fairly soon. There's some stuff I still have to do. It's complex. There's a lot of different things that I have to do. Thanks for watching.